Good morning, DVC fan, and welcome to day three of our DVC member cruise here on the Disney Wish. It is early. I am still kind of asleep and half tired, but we are pulling into Castaway K at the moment, and this is going to be a day full of us spending time on the island. Uh, we're going to go do the 5K. We're going to just lay on a raft and wade around in the ocean, but it's going to be an awesome day. We're going to bring you along for the ride. I really like being on this side of the ship so that we can see Castaway when we pull in. So it's so pretty out here. It's not not too hot yet, um, but I'm excited. Uh, Paul probably just said we're gonna try to run the 5K first, um, and then hopefully float around in the ocean. We made it off the ship. We've got our towels. This is a question that I think uh, people ask all the time. Do I need to bring towels onto the island with me? The answer to that question is no. Right after you get off the ship, they're gonna hand you all the towels you need, and then there's drop-off points around the island as you're getting ready to get back on board. But we are here, there's the Disney Wish behind us, and we're gonna go drop our stuff off and then find the starting line for the Castaway 5K. You all are gonna join us on this adventure. We really don't know where we're going or what we're doing to do this 5K today. We've been told that the bike rental booth is around where the starting line is. So we'll find out whether or not that's factually true or not, and then go from there. I've resorted to being that guy now where I'm just following people that look like runners and seem like they know what they're doing here because we have no clue, but we're here to have fun. We just wanna do it, say that we did it, uh, get the medal. It's also a training day. We're gearing up for the wine and dine half marathon that's coming up in November. And then we also have the half marathon for marathon weekend coming up after that. So it's just a nice opportunity to get a training day run in while we're on vacation. guidance was correct we are at the bike rental booth now and they give you instructions on essentially what to do for the castaway k 5k so you're essentially going to go down the path here uh, that way you're going to head out on the airstrip at some point in the halfway point of the airstrip it actually takes you into a loop you're gonna do the loop go the rest of the way down the airstrip until you get to the adult beach come back do the loop again and come back to here yeah. and, and then two other things you you check in here uh if you didn't check drop, check in is a glorified term if you well they do sit medals aside for you um if you didn't sit your stuff down at like a you know on a beach chair somewhere there is a, a place that you can put it over here uh inside this little i don't know bin um so you could you could do that as well ready to run yep let's go You're running. It's hot. We're a mile in. How are we doing? <laughs> We're one mile in. Uh, I told Paul. Normally we do intervals when we run, the Jeff Galloway method, which I love. And usually we get the same sort of times, but break it up a little bit. I told Paul we could run the whole thing if we kept the right pace. 
we were going too fast for me. Um, so we're kind of at my max pace. I was, I was behind getting video the whole time. So. <laughs> Not, I, not my fault. I'm a bad pacer, <laughs> uh, so I usually follow him. Uh, so me being in front is not good. So first mile is down. <laughs> I'm just taking a quick walking break, and then we're gonna run again. Yeah, it's a beautiful path though. It's very secluded. Uh, you yeah. feel like you just got nature all around you. There are water jugs positioned throughout the uh, path as well if you need a quick drink of water on your way. So very well put together in terms of something that only happens whenever a cruise ship arrives on the island. So on to mile two. When you get to the airstrip is when you really start questioning your life choices. About halfway, a little over halfway, questioning life choices. <laughs> nice update. We'll see if we make it. Stopping at the water, for sure. It's so hot out here on the, especially when you hit the airstrip, so. Get water. Five K complete. We got our castaway medal. Uh, I have seen the older medals. I actually prefer the older ones because they actually have the cruise ship on them but yeah. uh, Mickey's cute as well, so happy to do it. Did you have fun? Yeah, you it it's, uh, yeah, I would do it again. It's, it's hot and we probably should have just stuck to intervals instead of trying to run the whole thing. Uh, we walked a few times. Uh, I downed like five cones of water after we got back. It's just, there's not a lot of shade and there's not a lot of breeze. So just keep that in mind. Definitely stop and get the water. Um, I know it's just a 5K and we do 5Ks a, you know, a few times a week as part of our training, yep. but this one was just especially hot and humid. And it was just, it was, it was tough, but it was fun seeing people all, also running, knowing, you know, DVC members out there, a lot of people waving and smiling. So it was really awesome to see that. Yeah, if you've ever thought about doing Run Disney, I would say that the community is just as addictive as the DVC community is and just yeah. as friendly. You know, nothing about today and us running this was about a time or anything. We're just, we wanted, we wanted to get the medal. We wanted to finish. And it's an accomplishment to say that you did it. Right. And that's really the Run Disney motto is if you've done, you know, start off by doing like a 5K, even if you're only running 30 seconds and walking a minute and a half uh, or something like that. Uh, look into the Galloway training method. I actually talked to a guy while we were running for a while uh, about the Galloway method and about how it's helped us with our pacing and helped build up the tolerance of running because mm -hmm. it's not something that you just need to constantly run and do. Um, you know, that interval helps keep that heart rate down and helps Prevent uh, injuries. Prevent well. injury and keep you going. Yeah. But uh, just a super fun community. Right. And there were also plenty of people that were just walking the 5K. So yep. if you just want to go out there and walk or do as much of it as you can, uh, you still get the medal. So yeah. get out there early, especially before the, the sun comes up. Don't don't think about doing it at like one in the afternoon or anything. But it was great. And I think we've earned a uh, well-deserved time in the ocean now. Right. Yep. And some food. Food. going to pick up our float tubes. Uh, so if you want an inner tube while you're at Castaway, you can reserve one ahead of time uh, on, the, on the app. 
the the price uh, I noticed because we reserved ours later or we paid $15 a piece uh, but Phil and Pauline reserved theirs sooner and I think they only paid like 12 or 13 it was a little bit less than what we paid but if you forget to you can still just go over and and ask for one and they'll charge it to your room so it's a rental so you pay and you have it for the whole day it's worth it to have uh, because the water is very calm like a lagoon and so it's really nice to just float on them tubes are acquired and we are making our way back across what i feel like this is like 5k part two of getting back to our chair with the inner tube Finally made our way into the water. I love this lagoon area here at Castaway. Uh, we've done both Serenity Bay and the Family Beach. We actually like the Family Beach a lot. It's just very expansive, it's very open, uh, but really you can't go wrong with either option. No, I think I think both options are great. They, I feel like everyone flocks to the adult beach and in certain cruises, especially like this member cruise, mm -hmm. that leaves uh, a quieter beach on the family beach. And that's kind of the case today. I think yeah, this is a very adult heavy cruise. They said there's only about a fourth of the amount of kids yeah. that there normally are. So, you know, it, it's definitely quieter here out on the family section of the, uh, the beach today. And we're gonna hang out here, float away, and uh, en enjoy our time at Castaway Cay. That rhymed, and that didn't mean to rhyme, but it's corny now. I think We're it's gonna... Castaway Key. I'm floating there's, away. There's no way to C A Y. Why would you call that Key? The captain said Key. It's Key. Why is it Key? key. Yes, thank you. Why is it Key? It's Key. Castaway Key, Coco K. That makes no sense at all. felt like it took me an hour to paddle out here to you. <laughs> My legs are tired. What happens after you run a 5K and then float around the ocean for a while and you get hungry? By like 11 o'clock. Amy, I think, is about to eat her arm. So <laughs> we're counting down the minutes until Cookies opens and we can get us some island barbecue and some good food. Because we haven't eaten today. Don't do that if you're gonna run a 5K. Don't be like the Kriegers. It was good. I probably had too much. Now I'm ready for a nap. I was so hungry back there. I feel like I was like eyeing the fish up in the ocean. <laughs> wow. That's that's the next level of hunger. I was hungry, but now that I ate, I'm just I always like I always like this place. It's just like standard buffet type, you know, barbecue. Yeah. Burgers, ribs, a lot of what you can probably get from the buffet on the ship as well. Same sort of concept when it comes to 
uh, the food out here, but it's great that they bring it out on the island. You don't have to worry about going back to the boat uh, midway through your day to get a bite to eat. So uh, we are going to, I think, get some ice cream cones and go lounge on the beach some more. This is, this is the ice cream cone that I made. And this is the ice cream cone that Pauline made. Like I asked him, did you work at Dairy Queen? It's like professional, look at that. Wow. I'm excited. <laughs> So a lot of relaxing has occurred since I think we last talked. We spent a lot of time on Castaway today, had an absolute blast, just chilled out in the water, hung out on the hammocks, maybe fell asleep for an hour or so, and then eventually made, it, made our way back over to the ship. And we have set sail, Castaway's way back in the distance there, and we're getting ready for pirate night aboard night three of our DVC member cruise. So tonight, uh, I'm about to head down in a couple minutes. Pauline and Amy, I think, are still doing the Aqua Mouse and having a blast. I'm about to head down in a little bit to see the Little Mermaid stage show that they have here. They are doing a special pre-show tonight where Ryan March, who is the senior editor of the Disney Files magazine, so if you're a member and you get that magazine, I think it's monthly or quarterly, uh, so he is going to be interviewing Jody Benson before the production on board of The Little Mermaid. We saw part of this the last time we were on the Disney Wish, and actually there was a technical issue, so the remainder of the performance unfortunately was uh, canceled. So excited to check it out and see the rest of the show hopefully this time. We are planning to maybe hit up Hyperspace Lounge as well before dinner. So that might happen. And uh, we'll just see where the evening takes us here. Amy met me for The Little Mermaid. What did you think of The Little Mermaid? It's good. I, I really... The Beauty and the Beast on the Dream to me is Broadway level show. The Little Mermaid one on The Wish is... It's good, but it's not the same level as Beauty the Beast one. Agree to disagree. I loved every minute of it. It's definitely Broadway level. They're doing a lot of technical stuff on the set. So, you're wrong. <laughs> okay. What are we doing now? Uh, we are here with Phil and Pauline. And we are doing a 90s music trivia we did 70s the other day, and now we've jumped to 90s. Well, we did 80s. We kind of stopped. we skipped 80s. No, we did the 80s <laughs> one, and then we stopped by the 70s one to listen to it, but then we were on our way through, so we didn't get to do it. I like 70s, too, so. But See if we're any better at 90s. <laughs> we are 90s children at heart. That is true. We were alive for this, this yeah. era. <laughs> Here we go. Pauline and I spent a lot of time at the pool today. It. it was awesome. Newsflash, we suck at 90s music trivia. Well, we actually didn't do too bad. We didn't win. What's good on the Pirates menu? So, I am a big fan of this menu. I got the Pirate's Nest specialty drink, which is star rum, mango ginger beer, tea, and more ginger stuff. Um, but uh, the things I'm most interested in are the appetizer vegetable samosa, okay? The chilled mango soup sounds either good or disgusting. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the uh, Jack's Treasure of the Sea for my entree. Uh, maybe maybe make things interesting with a little Shanghai noodle stir fry as well. So a little wild card. Pauline, what are you going to order for Pirate Night? Um, I'm going to get <laughs> too many appetizers. I love the samosas. I want to try the crab cake and the shrimp. And then the Jack's Treasures is my go-to. They also have a grouper, which I don't think I've had before. I kind of want to try that too. I feel like because you can pick really whatever you want and they encourage you to, like our service brought us over different entrees, appetizers, and desserts every time, you, your eyes are bigger than your stomach for sure when you come on a Disney cruise.
our server keeps giving us puzzles and this one I cannot figure out. He like makes this thing spin down. I don't know. No way. <laughs> I tried every Our other server is an expert at origami and he made us a parrot for pirate night. The ladies went to freshen up before Pirates Night fireworks, and that meant the guys are going to Hyperspace Lounge. First thoughts. First thoughts are, uh, I don't know what I was expecting, but maybe more? Maybe that's unfair, I'm not sure. But we reviewed the drink list, and I was fairly underwhelmed by it. It all just kind of like weird, like lychee and chocolate. I don't know, but... Um, it's pretty cool. We just did a hyperspace jump and the whole place shook, which is really great theming, I think. And our drinks are arriving, so maybe we should look at those. Phil and I went with the Mustafar Birkins Flow, probably butchered that. It is uh, coconut rum chata, Godiva chocolate, and coconut water. It's given off a lot of like Nesquik strawberry milk vibes to me, although more on the lighter side. Lighter than I expected it to be. Enjoyable, but as Phil said earlier, I feel like the, the drink menu, could we get the showy drinks that have the bubbles and stuff? Yeah, but none of those actually sound like they're going to taste any good. So I went with something that I knew I was going to like, right? Right, yeah, so we thought. Uh, but like you said, it's like strawberry skim milk with some red Cheetos on top, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Red Cheetos in outer space. I just sat down. Well, there's some noises behind me. It's, it looks cool in here. Um, I they, they already were sitting in here having a drink. I went upstairs to change, so I just got here. Uh, but I did try this random pink thing. I thought it was fine. Uh, it's nothing I'm going to run over to get, but uh, it's kind of loud in here. There's a lot of noises and things going on, but overall the space looks really cool. What are we doing? Pirate party. Pirate party. And fireworks. Fireworks. I like the music. They usually do come to the way, which I love. Joan Jet, the Blackhearts.
was day three. Great! I love Castaway. It was so relaxing. Uh, we saw so much wildlife. The stingray, and we didn't do the stingray experience. We just saw one in the actual like family beach lagoon. Yep. Uh, lots of fish. I kept trying to pet them, uh, but the, I, they kept they were fast, <laughs> but I did, I felt a couple of their fins, but anyway, I just, it's so cool. They just come right up to you. Uh, pirate night was, was great. I love the menu for pirate night all the time. It's always good. We've had it a couple of times and I always like the parlay, pirate parlay, uh, party thing. The fireworks were awesome. I think the band is fun. They're very high energy but I thought overall it was a, a great day. Yeah, we just kept off the evening. They're doing karaoke with the stars, which is something that they've done on previous member cruises. It's always highly uh, attended and, and very popular. And so they're doing it in the main atrium area here on The Wish. And they've got all of the Broadway stars and then they're picking people from the audience to come up and sing duets with them. Uh, and it is very popular, very busy down there. We, we were watching some of it and we're headed back to the room. I think they're also broadcasting it in the room. So we're gonna catch the rest of it there for the evening but just still all kinds of 
fun entertainment yeah. uh, on board and uh, from the fireworks tonight to the karaoke to kind of wrap things up. It has been a fun filled day and we've got one more full day left tomorrow on our DVC member cruise. So until then, we will see you all tomorrow morning and uh, pick up where we left off. Before we wrap up, we did just get back to the room and our prints have finally arrived. So these are exclusive screen prints that were designed just for the member crews. Uh, and they are all, um, you know, exclusive. And there is a fourth print as well that you can get as part of the member sailing. If you do add on, I believe the first 150 people that make a add on contract purchase during the member cruise gets a fourth exclusive one that I want to say is small world themed, but these are pretty cool. Um, and we will definitely get these framed and hang them around the house. And there's a little page that comes with them that sort of describes all of these. And these are done by Tom Whalen, who is a Disney artist. So awesome little Nice little gift to come back to the room to to end off our evening.